employee engagement. If you are a solopreneur, you may not have employees, but you have a team. You have people that work with you. As they say, no man is an island. Everyone has someone who's working with you, whether they're on your payroll or whether they're contractors. But most of you probably do have employees that were that may be a fit for this program. But what you need to do is think about your employees because they're the success of your business. So if you want to really be a business that thrives, then you have clear information for your employees. They know how to operate that business. And if someone else takes over, there's something that is already there for them to follow, like job descriptions. Every employee should know exactly what it is they are doing. You should have written job descriptions. And so your employee can't say, well, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. And if there are things that you need them to do, remember you need to update those job descriptions on a regular basis and have that line in there, other duties as assigned. That's important. Make sure each employee has a target. You set these wonderful goals and milestones for your business, but how does each employee tie into that? Do they know that they're, they need to sell five things a day in order for you to make your target of 25 a week? How, how are you gonna meet your target if the employees don't know what the targets are? Make sure you have an, a contract for each employee and or contractor. Have it in writing as to what you expect, what the goals and objectives are, what their, their pay is, their remuneration, as it said, and their complete package. What are, are their sick days, their vacation days, the holidays? Make sure they are clear. If you have a dress code, make sure they're aware. If there are certain things they have to say when they answer the phone, when they greet customers, what is the the tone of your organization and does every single employee know about that? Make sure you have a way to communicate with your employees that they all know that, hey, when there's an emergency, there's a, a, a WhatsApp chat that we use or there's an email that we use and we need your home email as well as the email that is at work. Maybe you provide them with a cell phone so that they can definitely connect with you. If they work overtime or if they're on call, all of those things need to be in place. And then a scorecard system. How do they know if they're doing well or not? Make sure they know. Give them praise if they're doing a great job. That sometimes is so much more than a paycheck. It, it, a paycheck is great, but a lot of times, a lot of employees really appreciate the feedback, appreciate knowing that you appreciate them. But at least annually, make sure that you are giving them some kind of feedback, an employee evaluation, a review. So again, rate your company. Do you have one-on-one -on -one weekly staff meetings, monthly staff meetings? Do you have weekly team meetings, especially with your leaders? Does everybody know what the changes are, what's going on? Are they finding out stuff on Facebook about your advertising that you didn't tell them? You want to make sure everybody's in the loop. Does each employee have job descriptions, performance standards, and do they have KPIs or key performance indicators, the things that they know, if I do this, I'm doing a great job and the company's doing well. Does each employee know and have a report on their performance? Do they know if they've done well or not so well? Do you have an annual performance review, as I mentioned, or a, a six month, even mid-year? Do you have it quarterly? Do you have a policies and procedure manual? Does everybody know the tone of the business? The tone comes from the top. If they say tone at the top, that's you as the owner. Do, do you have something that all employees know about? And did all of them sign a contract? Do all of your employees know about the employee in, the items they've given? If you've given them a cell phone, if you've given them um Keys, do they know how to handle those things and when to handle them, when to turn them back in, what to do with them on vacation, all of those kinds of things. How do you implement and make sure you have a high performance culture that everybody knows what's good and when things are not going so good? So again, think about it. Rate your business on a scale of one to 10. Where would you be in those areas? 